Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! Hey guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. No, I'm not outside. Don't let this fool you. I am inside. I'm on my trainer today. It's gloomy out. Uh, it didn't rain while I was on my... Uh, while I was doing my afternoon bus route. But it did. I did see a couple of little drops on the windshield. And, and it just kind of gloomy out. And, and cruddy out. And I kind of made up my mind earlier in the day that... I was just going to get on my trainer. So I have plans to do this for an hour. Will I do it for an hour? I don't know. I might. It's not bad. I'm sitting here watching something on YouTube. I don't even know what it is. But, anywho. So, yeah, I hope everyone's day is going well. Mine's okay. Could it be better? Sure, why not? Sure it could. Everyone's day could probably be a little better. We're good. We're alive. We're kicking. So, uh, unfortunately, these rides don't really show up on my Strava or anything. So, hey, if you don't Strava, did it really happen? Yeah, it's happening. Uh, I do keep track of them. Keep track of the days that I do my trainer. Am I doing my trainer? Am I in the gym? Am I doing my trainer? What? Anyway. Uh, anywho. I do keep track of uh, the days that I ride on this trainer here and for how long I do it. Um, I don't keep up with my speed because, you know, I'm pedaling pretty much about the same pace that I would if I was on the road and uh, I keep it in the hardest gear uh, really the whole time so that in itself is giving me a, a pretty good workout so I do keep up with a couple things but I wish I had a smart trainer uh, that way I could do Zwift at least that would be a little bit of a little bit of a video gameish kind of a quality to it. Give me some fun. Of course, I wouldn't keep up with nobody, but it'd still be fun. Um, videos. Let's talk my channel and videos and subscribers and views and all that good stuff. Uh, a couple of my recent videos have gotten some decent views from my channel. Uh, one of them is the uh, the one with uh, that I uploaded a, a video of uh, some pictures, random shots and pictures and snapshots and all that kind of stuff. It's got just over a hundred views, which is really good for my channel. Like that's that's extraordinary for my channel. <laughs> um. But I got those views mostly, probably, because I posted uh, a link to that video on a group uh, that I'm a part of uh, that's based in my hometown here. Um, it's a group called Rants and Raves. And you can imagine by the name what it's for. Ranting and raving about stuff. Well, I think I've shared... Uh, maybe three videos of mine on there before just uh, to give people a good start to the day or you know something different outside of the norm of ranting and raving and they allow it uh, they allow it to uh, be posted on there uh, the admins so um, the videos that I have posted on there have gotten a lot of views I wish I could just post on there all the time <laughs> But I don't want to abuse it. Uh, my main cause for, or my main reason for that is, you know, uh, just to give people a good start to the day, good start to the week, 
what have you, you know, and it's something uh, nice and, uh, and good heart and good, gives you good feelings and meanings and all that. So some photography. I think one video I posted was of me dancing uh, last Halloween. I think I posted that on there. That got a lot of views. And I don't remember the other video I posted. I don't remember what it was, but anyway. Uh, my channel is very slow growing. I wish I wish I could get over this 150-ish subscriber count. But for some reason, uh, I'm not getting any more traffic, any more any more subscribers or anything. It's kind of disheartening, it's frustrating, aggravating. There's been many times that I wanted to just kind of quit doing videos. Um, I do get joy, uh, enjoyment out of doing the videos. Uh, it gives me something to do, uh, some kind of artistic expression. And uh, as someone who's always loved photography and movies and and just different things. It's, it's kind of a neat way to uh, do something that really uh, I've had a passion for my whole life, really, to some degree or another. So it's kind of fun in that aspect. I just wish that, I wish there was some way I could get my channel to grow uh, in a, a, a real, a real growth not just fake growth, you know, sub for sub. Number one, that's not allowed, it's frowned upon, and it really don't help. Like, let's say right now that I have 150 subscribers, if I could get 100 views, if I could get 100 of those subscribers to watch my videos, that'd be pretty amazing, that'd be great. That'd be a pretty good percentage. But you add that on top of the millions of people that are on YouTube and the internet, and, you know, a hundred views isn't anything. So, getting your channel noticed and getting pushed out there and, and uh, trying to really live and experience that kind of dream that you have kind of get squashed for a lot of us. And we all know that there's a lot of people that get views and that don't deserve them. Namely, uh, a lot of these females out there who are only doing things on these videos to get views and to get sponsors and all these different things and to make money. And the more subs you get, the more views you get, the more traffic you get, the more you get pushed, the more money you make. I know that's true with YouTube, and it's probably somewhat true with Instagram and TikTok and whatever else is out there. And I don't care to be the next big thing. You know, that's asking a lot. I'm not entitled to it. Nobody's entitled to it, but I work. I work pretty decent on my videos and on my channel. Uh, trying to give people a little something uh, in a few different uh, genres or interests, if you will, uh, to enjoy. And I, uh, like I've said before, I know that that's not typical of a lot of YouTube channels. Usually YouTube channels stick to one subject, for the most part. And that's what you're kind of expected to do, but I don't do it. My opinion is, if you have different things that you want to do and, and uh, experience, then do it on your channel and make playlists. Those playlists are what people can go to and see what their interests are. You know, if you want to see what I'm cooking, you go to the Everyday Kitchen. If you want to see movie reviews, 
you go to that playlist if you want to see just random stuff about me and my family and daily life. You go to the playlist about me and my family. I, I have an art and photography one. I have a video game one. I have a, a book, a child's book reading one. That, I've only got two books in there so far that I've done, but still, you know, I'm trying. Uh, other playlists are in there, I'm sure. I have one playlist in there where I'm uh, converting VHS tapes or beta or whatever, you know, uh, any size of tape. I'm converting tapes over to digital. Those aren't really for the public, but if you want to look at them, go for it. Um, yeah, so I try to give everybody a little something uh, contrary to popular popular uh, <laughs> doings, for lack of a better word. That's just what I do. I enjoy doing those things, and that's what I want my channel to revolve around. Now, my cycling videos are just in the video category. You know, you pull up Mikeyson's home page, and you got video on playlist and channel and about and all that kind of going across. And if you go to videos, well, then you get all my videos in one. But you get a playlist, then you get them, you know, in categories and that. So anyway, uh, I wish, I wish there was something I could do. I wish there was some secret method that I could instantly do and get some real subscribers, some real people that are interested in me, in my videos, what I have to say what I have to share, but it's really, uh, it's eluding me, it's, it's just not working, and I appreciate the subs that I have, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to grow, you know, I would love to reach a thousand subscribers, I would love to reach one million subscribers, and you're like, wow, that's crazy. Well, there's millions. There's probably a billion people on YouTube. <laughs> let's let's face it, there's eight billion people in the world. I wouldn't doubt eight I wouldn't doubt that there's at least a billion people on YouTube. So when you look at that, a thousand or a million is really nothing. Now keep in mind the way I do it isn't always the way that someone else might do it. I I subscribe to people, and if I subscribe to your channel, I'm going to watch all your videos. I'm going to go into YouTube and I'm going to check and see if you put out videos. Uh, I'm going to go to my subscriptions, and whoever pops up, I'm going to watch your videos. I keep up with videos all day, every day. Even if I'm not strictly, completely paying attention, I'm watching them. I'm giving you, tra I'm giving you traffic and views, thumbs up. A lot of times I'll leave a comment, even if it's just nice, or good job, or thanks for the video. Something like that. I always try to give, you know, the people I'm subscribed to, something. Because that's what you're there for. Right? You want to know that someone's you know, enjoying your creations. So, that's what I want. That's what I look for. And when you put out video after video after video, and mostly you're getting anywhere from 4 to 8 to 15 views, you might get one comment on average. You know, now that starts, starts getting a little bit depressing. A little aggravating. It kind of beats you down a little bit. So, you know, I know you can only do what you can do, and everybody's out there trying to do this. The song you do. So it's hard for everyone to, su to support everyone. So I get that. But that don't mean that it's, it makes it any less... Annoying. I don't know if annoying is the word. It's just 
was kind of, you know, whatever the word is, disappointing, I guess. Disappointing. A little disappointing, that's it. I'm sorry about the trainer, it makes it that crazy noise. It is annoying. They do have quieter and better trainers out there. I can't afford all that. I'm not rich. I can't even get a new computer that I need. Really bad. You know, trying to edit videos and stuff like that and pictures on a laptop that's probably 2013, 12, 13. That's a slow laptop when it comes to that kind of stuff. Even opening up an image or a folder, sometimes you can count to 10. Now I know I need to format it, you know, factory reset and all that good stuff. It's time, but still, it's annoying, it's slow. And even if I do that, it's just a matter of time before it slow with snails again. Um, I want to build a computer or buy a nice pre-built, but, you know, to get the computer and to get two nice monitors, big monitors, it's going to be a good $1,500, and, you know, I don't have $1,500, so, anyway, so, yeah, uh, for those of you that tune into my channel, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you find something you know, entertaining, even if it's, you know, just for a minute, I hope that you find something entertaining. I try to be a decent personality on camera and uh, kind of interesting. I'm more interesting sometimes when I'm not on camera and I'm just having random conversations and stuff with myself, you know, talking to myself all the time. more interesting and more funny and talk about different things uh, at that point than I do on camera. So, or if I'm with somebody and we're talking and we get into discussions about things, sometimes that's more interesting. Unfortunately, I really don't have anyone else that I can get on camera with me and really hang out and, and uh, collaborate with. It'd be, it'd be pretty fun. To do, it's just hard to find people that are interested in doing that and putting themselves out there, you know, for the whole world to see and being in front of a camera. Uh, I'm at a point now where cameras really don't bother me, which is pretty cool. That don't mean that I'm really super fluid and totally comfortable and just, you know, flow real well all the time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. My problem is, is I lose my vocabulary, which I do that anyway, you know, you're thinking of something, and you know the word, and you know what you want to say, but it ends up totally different than using words you don't want to use, you know, so that's the problem I have, it's like I need to write down everything, it's okay, this is the word I want to use, let me put that there, so, but anyway, I enjoy doing my channel. I just I go through periods where I get a little frustrated. I just I would like to get my subscriber count up there, and you would think it would be easy. And for some people, it is. Some people can go and start a channel today, and by uh, a week from today, they'll have a thousand subscribers like that. I don't know how or why, I don't know the reasoning behind it, I don't, I don't understand it. And I thought about doing a new channel, uh, like stopping this channel and just totally reinventing and doing another channel, just to see what would happen, but I don't know, I don't really, I don't feel like doing that, because I feel like I'm having to try to experiment and almost cheat the system just to see what happens. And I don't know, I don't think you should have to do that. I think being yourself and doing what you find right and you feel comfortable doing is what you should do. Anyway, I'm glad you joined.
joined in so far with me. Will I film the whole ride? I don't know. So far it's kind of interesting to talk and keep my ride going. And not having to break in between. So, uh, the other day I did uh, put my lights, make sure my lights, my front light is on, make sure it has new batteries. My, my rear strobing light, it's been on, but uh, I made sure it's got new batteries. Um, that way I can do some night rides because, uh, let's face it, this time of year it gets dark early and it's only going to get worse. So I got my lights situated and ready to go. And uh, I probably, I could have went for a ride. I don't know if it's raining. But I probably could have went for a ride. It's just earlier in the day, I'd already kind of decided that, you know, eh, I'll jump on the trainer today. So, and it won't be long. Uh, it won't be long we're fixing to get uh, my, trail bike, uh, my trail bike out, my GT Pantera Comp. And uh, try to hit the trails maybe once a week or something. I just don't ride them. I don't ride trails very often uh, because spring and summer it's just too hot, too humid, too many mosquitoes, too many ticks, and I just I'm not. It's no fun for me. If I have to struggle that hard, you know, it's just not that much fun. And riding a bike on the road is struggle enough. Uh, if you ride bikes at all, you know that. But riding on riding off road is even more painful. So you know, sometimes I think about selling the GT because I don't really ride it. But it's nice to have that option, and that's why I wanted to have that option. I didn't get it thinking that I was going to be out on the trails, you know, three or four times a week, because that's not possible right here in my town. I really got one trail. And it's not possible because, well, like I said, it wears you out. And I've been riding on the road for so long now that that's, that's mostly where I'm comfortable. So, but I have thought about getting rid of the GTN, putting the money into something else, into a computer, or, you know, whatever, maybe getting some dumbbells what have you, you know, something else, I don't know, I'll probably keep it though, just to have that option, as far as the GT goes, it still runs good, it's perfectly fine, it's a 2x system, 2x8, or 2x9, I think it might be 2x9, uh, only thing I'd like to do to it, is uh, get a, a little more narrow tire, because it's a plus size bike, it's, uh, it's got a 2.8 kind of uh, all-terrain kind of tire on it, and I'd really like to go with like a 2.4, maybe 2.5, uh, more of a small, you know, more of a narrower, uh, more grippy and uh, more trail-worthy tire. I think uh, number one having less tire. Also having a tire that grips a little better could speed me up and make me a little more uh, confident on some things. It's a good bike, you know. Those little hardtails like that, they'll last forever, really. Uh, especially if you just ride it like I do. That bike will probably last me a hundred years if I wanted it to. So. Of course, this one here, my Riley Redux 1, uh, 2016 model. Uh, if you followed along the story with that, you know I put uh, all kind of new stuff on it. And some more than I than I wanted to, but I had to. So so far, with all the all the latest new stuff. Uh, it's, it's still doing just fine. Uh, 
of course you know I have the puffy tire liner and the new tires and, and uh, so far they've been reliable and good and uh, I went on one ride quite a while back and uh, after my ride I noticed I had a little staple sticking in my tire no flat, no nothing so having a good tire along with that tire liner got me out of that one. So, I'm, I'm happy with it. The only thing I would change on on this bike now, if I could, would be uh, through axles. But you can't really do through axles on these because well, they're just not made for it. They don't have the threaded part, you know, that you need for through axles. So it's got your typical quick release that if I was able to change on this bike, it would be that. Just stiffen it up, make it a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more stiff and reliable. Uh, and peace of mind, I think, also, because through axles are a lot more secure, in my opinion, than quick release. And I do need some new brake pads. I thought about upgrading the brakes from the cable single piston to uh, why things like I said words escape my brain <laughs> hydraulics I've thought about going to hydraulic uh, single piston or maybe dual I've thought about it but let's face it usually hydraulic brakes re require more maintenance and uh, one little issue can go wrong and, and it becomes more of a more of an ordeal to fix and maintain so I don't know I'd probably be good with these just getting some new brake pads I mean I've been riding for four years so uh, and I haven't switched I haven't changed their brake pads so that's probably time it's been a good bike though I've enjoyed it wanted to get uh, more of a standard uh, regular uh, road bike or gravel bike, same thing, let's face it, cycle cross road, gravel, they're all the same. Uh, I've almost done it, I've almost let myself get another bike, you know, a, a more road bike, uh, you know, with the drop handlebars and that. But I've talked myself out of it time and time again, and I could have by now saved up and got one, or, you know, financed one or whatever. But I don't know. I feel like I'm okay on this. And I have had three bikes, and I know, you know, you, you think, well, I'll switch out bikes and I'll ride this one and this one and kind of spread out the wear and tear but eventually it all catches up and then you got two or three four different bikes that you're trying to keep maintained and it ends up costing more money in my opinion so like that track fx 7.3 uh sitting out there i mean it's just sitting there i'm never going to use it i'm never going to fix it so Really, I could junk it. I was going to use it on the trainer, but it's so uncomfortable. And it's been uncomfortable since the day I got it. The seat, something about it is just really uncomfortable. And we don't expect our bikes to be as comfortable as a recliner or a computer chair or a you know, car or you know, anything like that. But there's a little, a little comfort should be expected. So, but that thing has been uncomfortable since day one. I have no desire to mess with it anymore. This one here is pretty decent. Out of the three bikes that I've had, you know, this and the 
the, the track, the safety gear track. Anyway, track 7.3 FX and then my GT Pantera Comp. This one's the most comfortable. And it could be that I've ridden it the most and I'm just used to it. I don't know. But it's pretty much been comfortable since day one. As comfortable as this, I could probably get. something like that for a minute. Oh, goodness. Oh, smokes. And it don't matter whether you're a boy or a girl. Something like that for any period of time. Not comfy. No matter what bike you're on. 
so. I think maybe I'll stop in uh, just a couple minutes. Uh, I still gotta go walk. As long as it's not raining, I'm gonna go do my walk. And my walks, I usually do anywhere from one to two miles. And I'm just doing them here in my community, in my little neighborhood. I just go back and forth. Just walk back and forth on my little dead end street here. And it racks up a mile really quick, and it racks up two miles really quick. So, you know, but there's no sense of me going to the to the park and there's no sense of me going to the uh, football field and walking around that track or anything it's, there's no reason to whenever I can just walk out of my house and do it right here so it's all good and again I'm sorry about the noise this thing makes it is a little annoying but But it's also, it keeps you awake, you know. So that's good. It keeps you awake. And as you can tell, you know, I haven't been killing myself pedaling. I've been steady and consistent. I always say I'm consistent and I'm persistent. And I'm persistent at being consistent. So... Even just going at this, you know, at this cadence, this this pace, you know, I'm getting a good sweat going and uh, getting plenty of a workout. And like I said, I'm keeping my bike in the hardest gear. So, and this trainer does have uh, a cable and a a little switch on it that evidently can, you know, make it uh, harder or easier, or whatever to do as well. I just don't have it hooked up. I don't have it. Going so, I don't figure I need it. And as far as my health goes, I guess everything's okay for now. Uh, I think I made a video, an update on whenever I went back to the doctor a couple weeks back or so, you know, and to do a, just a quick checkup, see how I was doing on that new medicine. I mean, my legs aren't swelling up like they were, mainly my left one. I mean, it's not swelling up like it was, but sometimes it don't look like it's uh, completely where it should be. But I've also had kind of, I also have kind of thick ankles sometimes, and I don't know. <laughs> thick ankles sometimes. Eh, whatever. Well, I mean, I, I guess I'm okay for now, and he says my blood work is all fine and dandy, and my heart sounds good, and my lungs sound good, and everything sounds like it's flowing well through my arteries and everything, and not to worry about kidneys and livers and hearts and all that, that you know as far as he's concerned I'm, I'm doing just fine but that don't mean that my diet's fine obviously I'm on you know blood pressure cholesterol and gout medicine for a reason and uh, my new blood pressure medicine actually has the HTC and HTC or whatever the heck it is you know the water pill so it actually has it built into it so I'm down to I'm down to three pills, but the one pill, the new pill, has double duty. <laughs> so I'm still kicking, at least for now. You know, you always got to expect. You always got to expect something because, you know, you are getting older and things happen. And if you've had high blood pressure and high cholesterol for so many years, you know, it, it does wear and tear on you. 
So this says I have 19 minutes and 15 seconds left. Take off quick pedaling at 18 minutes. Pretty good workout, guys. Don't let these trainers fool you or your little stationary bikes, whatever it is that you got, because uh, they can do some great things. See, I have my camera, had my <laughs> had my tripod kind of wrapped around my bars, and then a little Velcro strap kind of thing holding it all kind of tight. So that worked out pretty good. Um, anyways, guys, whew, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got a little workout along with me. Uh, pretty good, pretty good stuff. I hope you enjoy the channel. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Hey, share my channel. Make sure you ch uh, share it and uh, try and get me some subscribers. You know, I want to reach people. You know, my channel is not about fame and money. Uh, it's about trying to reach people and uh, to let them know that you know we need to enjoy life a little bit we need to enjoy our hobbies and our passions and uh, get away from a lot of the other things that aren't good and positive in our lives um, and that's that's everything from riding a bike to photography and cooking and walking jogging tennis horseshoes cornhole giggity movie reviews I mean whatever it is that you want to do as long as it's something good and positive you know if you want to sit and play video games for eight hours and share that with people do it because video games can be positive too I'm all about that all right guys I'm gonna get my other shoes on and go for a walk and enjoy the rest of my night I hope you do the same don't forget get up get out get red do it to it Woo! And be awesome while you're doing it. We'll see you guys later. Let me talk to my biggest fan over here. Hi, fan. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? I got good fans. See ya. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!